When we want to go ahead and solve an inequality with fractions, my preferential opinion, the first thing to do is to get rid of the fractions. Now, before I can get rid of the fractions, I need to go ahead and rewrite my mixed number as an improper fraction. To do that, all I'm simply gonna do is take my denominator, multiply it by my whole part, and then add it to the numerator of my fraction. So four times five is going to be 20. 20 plus one is going to be a 21. Now you can see I have a two-step equation. Now the nice thing here though is that all of my terms are all being divided by four. If I wanna undo each and every term being divided by four, I simply just need to multiply my inequality by four. The cool thing about this is that's gonna now get rid of my fraction for each of these terms, but it's not gonna actually change the solution. So I'm gonna multiply by four times each and run one of these terms, the four and the four in the denominator are going to divide to one, which is another way of saying like they cancel out. Now you can see I have a one step inequality. All I need to do is isolate to x. So I need to ask myself, well, what is happening to the x? x is being subtracted by three. To undo subtracting by three, I need to add a three. Whatever I do on one side, I have to be able to do on the other side. I'm now left with x is greater than 24, which I can write on a number line here with an open circle because 24 is not included. So we'll say that is going to be the value 24. And then all values, oh, that's still open. <laughs> for all values to the right, for instance, like 25, and all other numbers is gonna represent our solution. Hope that helps.